Hi everyone. So it's um, Tuesday and I am 9 DPO and I promised uh, um, that I would do a live pregnancy test today. So I'm going to dip them. First, let me here set it here. <clears throat> so I have this, which is the baby dust method. It's um, an extra large wand faux. So it's actually pretty wide. This is and a regular wand faux. That's what I have today. That's the size difference. So I'm going to dip both of them. Okay, there's the extra large. I'll cover it. And make sure it's okay. And there's the other one. And cover it. So, all right, I'll talk. I'm going to let them go because I know that those tend to. Um, take a while to process. Okay, so like I said, I am 9 DPO. Um, so I, um, oh gosh, I was feeling very, very hopeful this month. Um, I felt like I was for sure, like this is my month. Um, we had the DNC, the polypectomy, the, um, small fragment of placenta removed um in February and then we had our you know a couple cycles and this one should be you know perfect it's been a couple months it's um you know I just whatever so anyway um no unfortunately I'm not feeling that way anymore um as of today at 9 DPO I have been starving I have been wanting to eat everything in sight um crampy grouchy um, just pms -y. Now, it's a little early for my period. It's not due till, well, usually I get it on um, 14 DPO. So I have, let's see, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. I have another four or five days. So that is a little early, but PMS symptoms, they do start early. I know a lot of people say you don't, you know, you, you might or might not even implant before 9 DPO. Um, you know, I know that's true. I agree with that. Um, the thing is, like, you know, I know you can't compare pregnancies probably because I do think that they are each different. Um, I, I mean, like, if you get a BFP on 9 DPO with one pregnancy, I'm sure it's not, like, for sure that you'd get it on 9 DPO with the next. So with my last pregnancy, I got my BFP at 10 DPO on a wand foe. Very, very faint, but noticeable. Um, so I, I don't know. Like, like I said, I'm still hopeful. It's only 9 DPO. My chart, my temperature chart is um, kind of crazy. It's a uh, I had a very obvious jump this month, which was, which I was happy about because in the previous months it's been going up like kind of slow, like stair stepping up um, and slow rising, um, which we, you know, the doctor had said might be a sign of low progesterone, but this month it went straight from a low to like a jump. And it hasn't gone down, but it hasn't gone, it hasn't given me like a good... It's a, it's a sawtooth, like a zigzag. It's been up, down, up, down, up, down. Still within a good range, but just not what I would expect um, a pregnancy chart to look like. Although, you know, what does a pregnancy chart look like? Like, I mean, you know, who really knows? It's, I think everyone, I think plenty of women have had charts that look crappy become pregnancy charts. And I also know that at 9 DPO, I'm certainly not out if these are negative. But, you know, it just feels, um, I just feel very PMS-y, which I also know they say can be a pregnancy sign. Anyway, um, yeah, so I'm trying to think if there's anything else. Oh, my, well, I wanted to give it a couple more minutes, so I'll just talk about this. Um, my youngest has been sick. She is okay now, but last time I, I was on here, I mentioned that she had a strap and she was going to the doctor because it wasn't getting better. Well, she ended up with thrush from the antibiotic. It was the week from freaking hell for both of us. Um, she lost like three pounds, which is a big deal on a little kid, and she didn't eat. She's finally just starting to eat again. Um, it's been tiring. So, yeah, that's been our week, and my oldest 
she's in 10th grade, but she got invited to prom by one of her friends. She says it's not a date, but it is. Um, she's uh, going to prom. So that is on May 13th. So we need to go look for a dress this week, which is exciting for her and me. I'm excited to accept, you know, everything's so expensive. Um, I don't know if it's time to look. It's been five minutes, 20 some seconds. And I don't know when I dipped those, so I guess I'll look. I do think that the wanfos take a while to process, but we'll look here. All right, get down here. We'll start with the little one. All right. Mm. It looks pretty negative, and it is not processing anymore. Well, not really, at least. I think it looks negative, man. You know, I say this every month, how much I hate these little tests, but I keep buying them because they're cheap, you know, and you get a lot of them. Mm -hmm. Let's see if you can see that. And not my hands, they have lines all over them. I should have done a different... Oh, it's so blurry, I'm sorry. Um, Maybe the other one will be easier. Yeah, it does look, it's so hard to tell, but, you know, when nothing obvious jumps out at you, kind of assume it's negative. Um, all right, I'll set that one aside. Let's look at this one. This one's still a little pink, but processed enough that I think I can see that it's pretty negative. Let's see. They look negative, guys. Now it is, it is only 9 DPO. I don't see anything that jumps out at me on either of these two. Um, you know, I, I'm not, I'm not gonna count myself out yet. And being negative, I know. Um, I'm gonna try to think positive and I'll take another test tomorrow and I'll, I'll do that live too, so I will see you guys tomorrow.